It's Billionaire Boxing, and I'm back with another one. Has Tank Davis surpassed Canelo Alvarez as the face of boxing? And this is kind of based on opinion. And I know people are going to tell me, no, nah, man, he's passed him. He did a 1.2 with Ryan. Um, and, I, you know, I'm a fan of Tank, so this is hard for me to say. But I still think even with Canelo doing 650 to 700,000 with Jamel Charlo, I still think Canelo is the face of boxing currently. And that's not to say Tank isn't closing the gap, but I have to see what Tank does in January or whenever he comes back. If Tank comes back, let's say, um, hypothetically, and he fights Pitbull Cruz and does 700 to 750,000, basically doing more than Canelo and Charlo, that would be his second pay-per-view outselling Canelo. So then you start saying, okay, well, this is starting to, you know, one time can be, see, when you do it once, it's not a sustained. It's not sustained um, success. But when you start doing it two, three, four, five times, then you start saying, okay, this is consistently a pattern now. He's out selling Canelo um, every fight. But one fight, that doesn't, especially with the, the casual audience that him and Ryan um, brought together. Not saying that Tank wasn't a huge uh, draw. Tank was uh, just as big, if, if not bigger, part of that than Ryan. I, I, of course, Ryan had never been on pay-per-view before he fought Tank. Tank had done pay-per-views before he fought Ryan. So I get where people are coming from in this aspect as well. But I just think that it has to be consistently done. You know, our people could say, oh, well, Tank is a bigger draw right now. I mean, even if they say that, you know, we have to wait and see what he does in January. Um, because if he fights an opponent not as popular as Ryan, and he still does over 600000 and he's right there with Canelo or passes him, then you can start saying, okay, well, this guy is... You know, he's a new face. But right now, Tank has definitely closed the gap. The gap is getting, you know, the gap a year ago was wide, you know, between Canelo and anybody else, in my opinion, in America. Um, but now, when you start looking at it for sure, it, the gap is definitely closing. The gap is definitely getting smaller. And I do think Canelo is still the face. I still would, would have him. I was having a discussion with my man in the chat. Um, on his on the post, and he told me he said, uh, you know, it's hard to have a man that's that took into that's taken two losses to be the face, but I could you know before De La Hoya fought and passed the torch to Floyd, De La Hoya had losses but was still selling. You know, he still was the biggest draw at one time. You know, Mike Tyson was the biggest draw and he had losses. Of course, he had lost to Buster Douglas and then he lost to Holyfield twice. You know, when Mike Tyson was still a huge huge draw, him and Lennox did big numbers. So, yeah, I mean, the face of boxing is, is all kind of conjecture. You know, um, Sugar Ray Leonard wasn't undefeated his whole career, but he was one of the faces, if not the face, in his era. Um, Muhammad Ali was the face in his era. So it's all about eras. And so when they say era, that means a sustained period. Because uh, my man was arguing with me, my brother. He said, um, well, is Crawford the face since he beat Spence? You know, now Crawford is Crawford took the 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 – Mantle as pound for pound number one, undisputedly, you know, undisputed. Um, I know undisputedly ain't a word, forgive me. But he definitely um, took that. And it's, it's not an argument as far as who I think is the best fighter in the world. But as far as the biggest draw, um, I don't think Crawford is in that tank and in, um, in, in Canelo category at this point. But that doesn't that is not knocking Crawford's fighting ability. But, yeah, I still, I st I still think it's Canelo. And that's it, man, it's billionaire boxing. And I'm back with another one.